I'm Terry Gidry of Cherry Blossoms, and I'm the author of Celebrate the Seasons, a collection of four seasonal lap size quilts that feature the same layout, but the appliques change with the season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. To make the projects and celebrate the seasons, I use my favorite applique technique, fusible applique. So typically for fusible applique, you trace the shapes onto the paper side of the fusible, then you fuse this onto the wrong side of the fabric, and then you cut on all those traced lines. Fun process, but a little time consuming. Well, I was introduced to an electronic cutter several years ago and just fell in love. It's super easy. It is very accurate, even with small intricate shapes. And if you're cutting little circles, they will be perfectly round. Plus, you can resize your shapes. You can take uh, one shape and make it into a small mud rug. You can enlarge it and go into a wall hanging or go as large as a king size quilt. So I want to talk to you about the SVG files that are available for Celebrate the Seasons at the CMT website. Now, SVGs are cut files that are made to be used with the electronic cutters, such as the Silhouette Cameo, the Artistic Edge, the Brothers Scan and Cut, etc. I will be using the Silhouette Cameo to demonstrate the process. Let's start by going to the CNT website. Let's search Celebrate the Seasons. And select. Let me show you the quilts I mentioned earlier. There are four quilts with the same layout. The only thing that changes is the appliques. And there's spring. Patriotic Summer, and a cute little bird for Christmas. On the right hand side, you can see all the SVG files that are sold by the project. For the demonstration, I would like to use the Christmas SVG files. I've selected it. I need to add it to my cart and then check out. I've placed my order and I've been directed to a download page where I can find my Christmas SVG files. Left click, save them to my computer under my documents. I created a folder called Celebrate the Seasons SVGs and I will save. Just one more thing I need to do. I need to go to File Explorer back to where I saved those files. Right click, I want to extract all. And it will save them in the same spot. I'll say extract. And there are my files for winter. Click on that. I'm going to show you the files that you will get. These are all the cut files. They're broken down by color. And there's also a handy little guide Let's take a look at this PDF. I'm going to double click and scroll down. And it gives you information on how to prepare and cut your fabric and your fusible for your electronic cutter. It's all broken down by fabric color and all the shapes have been labeled. So it'll make it much easier to figure out where each shape belongs on your layout diagram. I will be cutting my shapes with the Silhouette Cameo. Let me get to my software, Silhouette Studio. Now in order to cut SVG files, I need to have my Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. And let's open. And it brought back winter, which is under my Celebrate the Seasons folder, and the Christmas VG folder, and the winter. 
I want to open the Aqua C file. And click OK. And here we are. Now, if I click on these, you see this little bounding box that's holding both of these shapes together. So they are grouped. I want to cut one of these shapes at a time. So I can either right click and ungroup, or I can go to Object and find Ungroup. And that will separate them. Now I'm just clicking with my left mouse and dragging. Now I'm going to left click, drag. Now I want to place this at about a half inch from the top of the map. So this map that you see on the screen corresponds with your cutting mat. So I have about a half an inch over here, half an inch here. So I want to click on this and it tells me that it's a little over six inches wide, six and an eighth, and that's five and a half inches tall. So I want to cut my fabric so that I have a little extra all the way around that shape. So in this case, I'm going to cut my shape about seven inches by six and a half inches. Okay, and I'll also cut my fusible that size. So you can have a lot of fun with these shapes. You can make this smaller by selecting the shape and dragging one of those little corner handles. Make it a little smaller, make it a little bit bigger. Select one of the side handles and you can stretch your shape. And you can multiply these. Right click on it, copy, and paste. And I can just paste again. And then I can resize these. So I have a five or snowflakes. Now, if you don't like it, you can always undo a uh, little arrow here. Just click on it until you get to the point where you're pleased. And I just want to go back to the starting point. And there we go. Alright, so let's cut the snowflake. I only want to cut this one snowflake, so I will select it. If I leave this one unselected, it will not cut it. So just select the one you want to cut, go to the top right hand corner, and you see the center of silhouette icon. Select it. And before I start, I want to adjust the cut settings. With that snowflake selected, I want to go to cut style and select cut. For the material type, I need to select the fabric. And this is fabric that is thin with the cotton print because I am working with the culture's cotton. And this brings more options and gives you the default setting for the depth of the cut blade. So it's just to set it on a three, but we have fusible up here to the back of our fabric, so we need to go to about a four. And if you choose to leave the paper on to the fusible, the liner paper, you may want to go to a 5. If you have a very intricate design, you need to reduce the speed. And so these numbers work really well for my projects. Because I typically do leave that uh, line of paper on. And that's it. You send to the silhouette. I have a 6.5 by 7 inch piece of fabric. And I have starched this until it's nice and stiff. I've also cut a six and a half by seven inch piece of fusible. It's paper backed. And I'm going to place the fabric with the wrong side up. And place the fusible on top. Paper side up, fusible side down. And I'm gonna take a little iron and I'm going to press 
until it's nicely fused onto the back of that fabric. Now follow your manufacturer's instructions because all fusibles require different amounts of heat. All right, when that's nicely set, we're gonna set aside, get our cutting mat. And this is a silhouette mat. It is lined to protect the stick. And then I'm gonna load, cut, mat. All right, now I'm going to my software. Going to send the silhouette, adjust the cut settings, select cut. And I only have one of them selected. And I'm choosing my fabric, thin fabric, and send to silhouette. unload and I'm going to use this nice little tool to peel it off the mat. Nice and easy. Yep, a little spot there. And that's just the fabric. All right, now I can peel. A little snowflake off the mat. Just want to be careful with the shape like this. Don't want to tear it up. And there you go. Perfect little snowflake. So here we have a little snowflake we just cut. It's the one that goes right here on the border of the winter project and celebrate the seasons. And remember, you can resize these, make them fit into a little tea towel, a pillowcase, lots of possibilities. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something new today.